Hi, I'm Dr. Roberto Scafidi, and I'm with Bay Health Medical Group Cardiology Consultants. So I pretty much knew from the very beginning that I wanted to be a doctor. I can't remember a time really where I didn't want to be a doctor. The kind of doctor I wanted to be changed over time, but I've always wanted to be a doctor. The reason why I picked cardiology was primarily because of my dad. When I was in high school, freshman in high school, my dad started having problems with chest pain. And we determined that it was because of angina or a coronary artery blockage. And he required balloon angioplasties. And at that time, you know, balloon angioplasty was really the only option for treating coronary disease aside from bypass surgery. My parents are immigrants from Italy, so even though they had been in the United States at that point for about 30 years, you know, some of the more academic things, especially about coronary artery disease, they really didn't understand. And that caused a lot of fear, especially my mom, because she didn't want to lose her husband, and I certainly didn't want to lose my dad. Um, so I made it a point to read up as much as I could to my level of understanding and to go to his cardiology appointments and talk to his cardiologist and over time I was able to help them understand exactly what was going on and made them more comfortable with his diagnosis and what, what the plan was. And actually his cardiologist ended up being one of my mentors. So it's, it's very nice to practice in a, small, in a smaller community because you have more personal interactions with everyone. And I think you know, if you know everyone and you get along very well, it makes, it, it makes the whole process a lot easier especially when you're dealing with um, you know, a potentially scary diagnosis. You know, if someone comes into the office and their blood pressure is a little bit high on the first visit, I don't just automatically make a change in their medications because I realize it's going to be a little bit higher because they're dealing, you know, someone's sending them for chest pain or someone's sending them to see me for heart failure or they're concerned about a heart rhythm problem. And a lot of times it may not be a really big problem, but until they hear from me, they're not sure. So I think the best thing to do is make them feel as comfortable and as at home as possible. What patients, I think, should expect is that they don't need to be afraid about seeing the doctor. Uh, you know, a lot of patients do come in and you can tell they're nervous because their blood pressure is a lot higher than what they would normally be or their pulse rate is higher or they just, they're not sure what they're going to be getting into when they come into the office. And I think the most important thing to know is I'm not going to bite, I'm not going to yell, and, you know, I'm just trying to establish a good relationship with whoever comes in that door. What drives me as a cardiologist is just being able to prevent disease rather than treat a disease after it's occurred. Uh, I want to keep people as healthy as they possibly can be so that they can live a long, healthy life.